Okay, so we're going to talk about the difference between elements and compounds today. So elements, we're going to talk about um, how they're only made of one type of atom. Now we've mentioned this before, how like oxygen is only made of oxygen atoms. Carbon is only made of carbon atoms. Helium is only made of helium, helium atoms and so on and so forth. So this is what makes them pure. It's kind of like a purebred dog, how, you know, to be a purebred dog, they only have those specific breeds in their DNA and in their pedigree, their family tree. Um, nothing else mixed in there. Well, the same thing with elements. They have no other type of atom mixed in there, just one type of atom. Okay, so they are pure. There's 118 that we know of as of today, and that's why the periodic table, um, an updated one, technically goes to 118. All right, we know that the elements are represented by a chemical symbol or an element symbol. Um, chemical and element symbol mean the same thing. So that's your symbols that you are going to be or you have been tested on today. Um, so here's just some examples of some different um, elements and their symbols. And remember, it's very important to follow the correct rules for writing your symbols that if there's one um one letter that you have to write it capital and if there's two letters that you have to write a capital and a lowercase capital lowercase capital lowercase and as I'm looking at this that kind of looks like it's a little bit there we go CL okay and we always write them in print as well so we have those rules because of how we do compounds. So some of this will start making sense a little bit now of why there's so many rules with how we write our element symbols. All right, so on the flip side, you have compounds. And compounds um, are very similar actually to how you might think of like compound words. So a compound word is when you have two or more, or you have two words that you put them together and they form a new word like dog and house have separate meanings. Um, when they're separate, they have a me certain meanings and then you put them together and they have a new meaning. Or butter, fly. You know, butter and fly have their own separate meanings, but then you put them together and it changes the meaning of the word. So compounds in this sense are when you have two or more elements and you put them together, chemically put them together and they create something new. So if there's two or more elements, then that means there's gonna to have to be different atoms, okay? Compounds can only be separated chemically through a chemical change or a chemical reaction. There's an unknown amount because uh, we just haven't discovered all the different um, chemical compounds that there could be. And because we don't know all the elements, there still you know, could be discovering new elements. All right, um, the way we write compounds is by what's called a chemical formula, which just means a combination of symbols. So now let's get into some of ways we will see compounds written. So one common compound that you might um, have known is H2O. So we now know that H is hydrogen and O is oxygen. This is water. All right. Na is sodium, Cl is chlorine. So together, when they're made a compound, and they're chemically changed into sodium chloride. Now this is interesting because um, both of these together so uh, can be toxic. I mean, if they're independent of each other, if like you just ingested too much sodium or you ingested chlorine, uh, too much of that could be toxic to you. But when they get chemically combined, it makes table salt. All right, in this one, I like to call it nacho three because if you mix this up, it would spell nacho. So um, nacho three, that is going to be baking soda. All right, so now let's look at what these little numbers here. You probably see these little numbers right here and some of them don't have numbers. So these little numbers are called a subscript. Now, if you think of the word sub, that means below or under, like a subway. So you, anytime you see little numbers that are written below or under, kind of so to speak, um, that little number tells you how many atoms of that element 
And I can see that my copy, let me fix that real quick. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to zoom in. Okay, the, the copy didn't cut off the T. So if there is no number there, then it's an understood one. So for example, H2O, this two tags along with the H, kind of like a little puppy following its owner. So H2O would mean that there's two hydrogen and one oxygen. So I have a little demonstration that we do in class. We do a bunch more of these, but, um, so if you think about hydrogen, there's a hydrogen atom and another hydrogen atom plus one oxygen atom gives you H2O, okay? So NaCl, which is table salt, we have one sodium, we have one chlorine, and when they're chemically combined, they make sodium chloride. Now, if you had to draw out or put together with Legos baking soda, you would have one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and three oxygen, okay? So you're gonna get a lot more practice with elements and compounds, but these are the basics. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, have a great day.